It is 12.30. Say hey, Papa. It's 12.30 and by our face you can tell that we are literally exhausted. Like we're fighting to not fall asleep because you want to be knocked on the plane. So we're fighting right now to stay awake, but it's hard. We're trying to like stay awake so we can, um, you know, be like completely knocked out on the plane because we have a 15 hour flight. 15 hour, y'all. And that's just one of three. So it'll be basically a full day of traveling. I think it's like a full 24 hours, but the first flight is the longest and it's 15 hours to Taiwan. So it should be fun. So after three flights and 25 hours of traveling, we finally made it to our hotel. Three flights, y'all. So we had to fly from Houston to Taiwan, and then we flew from there to Bangkok, and then Bangkok to Phuket. And then we had to drive, or then we had to catch a 45 minute taxi ride from the airport to the hotel. So we have been flying. So just for context, we left at basically 2 a.m. Texas time on Tuesday, like early Tuesday morning. And technically we're getting here, or we landed at like a little bit after 3 a.m. Texas time. So it's been a long travel day, but we just got to our room. And what you think, how'd I do? You did good. But I'm tired. Yeah, we're, well I'm not that tired, he's tired. But you know what y'all, I had told Dion, I was a little bit worried about like how I would do on our 15 um, hour plane ride because the longest the longest plane ride was from Houston to the Houston to Taiwan flight. That was 15 hours. And I was like really kind of anxious about it because I didn't really know how I was gonna do on a flight that long. But I intentionally basically tired myself out and like didn't sleep very much just so I could be exhausted on the plane. And of that 15 hour ride, I probably was only awake for maybe three of those 15 hours. Like I was knocked out. So I'm, I'm well rested, I'm, I've slept. <laughs> I slept on all three flights, like I feel great. Dion, on the other hand, he has a hard time sleeping on the plane in general, so he didn't sleep as much as I did. But let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little room tour to show you guys our room. Okay, so we're staying at the Wyndham Grand, the, okay, the Wyndham Grand Phuket Kalembe. So we're staying. Um, if anyone cares, um, I used Hotwire Vacations to book our um, vacation. So I just literally booked our flight and hotel all in one. It was super easy. Okay, so I am sitting at the door right now. So here's what you see when you walk in. So immediately to your left, here is the bathroom, which is super nice. You have the toilet. We got double sinks, thank God. Anytime we get double sinks, I'm always, <laughs> I'm always happy about it. So we have double sinks, and in here they have like a toothbrush, a comb, a trash bag, sewing kit, shower cap, all the necessities. So you got that, some little storage and towels down here. And then over here you have a standalone tub, which is super nice. And the tub actually opens up to, well it opens up to the room which you guys will see here in a second. But here is the tub. And then you also have a huge walk-in shower. Okay, so then you come out. And then here is the room. So it's definitely like the perfect mix between like, you know, more traditional American and of course like your Thailand flair. So you have like an area here that has like your mini bar set up, some water, there's a fridge down here. Put your luggage. And then here is where the tub opens up to the bedroom. So you have the tub and the bathroom there and then you have the rest of the room so there's that and then here is like the closet area 
Um, I love when they give us the robes. That's because are always super comfortable. And we have robes and slippers, yes. And then here is our room. So, you know, it's really nice and quaint, but of course you guys, my favorite part about the whole room is our private pool. And I love that we get a view of the ocean as well. So you guys see back there, it's like the ocean, the mountains, and it's all nice and private and secluded. So it's like perfect for us. So there's our pool. And then here is a good glimpse of the room. So that's a little glimpse of our room, AKA our home for the next five days. Um, I think one thing I get to do, I'm gonna go ahead and probably go get some food because we're both, I'm not, I'm not starving. Um, but I am a little hungry, uh, and it's only like five, I, think it's, I don't think it's even five o'clock yet here. So I'll probably go grab some food and then figure out what to do next. Dion and I came to the uh, hotel restaurant to grab some lunch, and we literally could not get over the views, right babe? We keep talking about like how, like, like how nice it is. It is, like, just look, it is so beautiful. So this is our lunch view. Like, just look at the beautiful panoramic views of the ocean. So those are the mountains, and that's water down there. It's beautiful. It's later in the evening, after um, lunch, me and Dion actually ended up coming back to the room and taking a nap. Um, he was exhausted, so he went to sleep, and then of course he got into bed, so I got into bed, and I fell asleep. Um, but I think right now it's like midnight here. And like I said, I slept most of the plane ride, so I'm not really that tired. So I decided to just come out here and kind of just hang by the pool. One thing about me, like, I'm not a huge, huge, huge water person, but the sound of water makes me just feel so at zen. And like being out here, you can hear the pool and the ocean waves. So it's, it's so relaxing. I'm gonna get some good quiet time in today. <laughs> Day two of our Thailand bake. Oh, Papa, what are you doing? I was trying to get the light. We got up early this morning. We got a good workout in. We've already had breakfast. It's only like 11 a.m., but we got up early. Um, I had to do some some homework for class. He went to, um, went to the gym, ate some breakfast, planned out our excursions for our vacation, got those all booked up, and now we're headed out to go to town, right? Yep. We're about to go head out to town, just kind of see, you know, what the local experience is like. But before we do, I want to give you guys a quick little view of my OTD. It's like super simple, it's just cami and some shorts. But I did promise that I'll show you guys what I am wearing while on vacation. Excuse our bathroom, it looks a mess. But yeah, I'm just wearing um, the white cami that I showed in my haul from Boohoo, as well as the black shorts from Boohoo, and then um, this crossbody that I had to get the last minute, right before, literally right before we went to the airport, I had to stop at Target and get this on the way to the airport because I didn't have one. So I got this from Target, it was like 15 bucks, you know, really cute and inexpensive, and also just walking some black sandals. So where a hotel is, I believe, is it's like right in between Patong and Kamala, Kamala Beach, I think, I think that's what it is. So we're about to take a taxi into Patong and hang out there with the locals, hopefully get some food, you know, just have a good time. Um, the weather is beautiful. I told Dion that. Okay, so backtrack. I didn't realize until after I booked um, our trip that it's actually rainy season in Thailand. Um, so it's not typical bright, sunny, super hot weather, which I had told Dion that I don't mind because the weather is amazing it feels so good outside it's like it's not scorching hot i'm not sweating like you have a little bit of sun but you know just enough and it feels good so how you feeling this morning good. yeah we both feel, we both feel really good this morning see like i was saying is um it feels really 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 good so, like i don't even mind the semi-cloudy weather 
And also, when it's been raining, it's only been raining for like 10 minutes and it'll stop for a few hours and it'll rain again. So it's like a small spurt. It's not like a long, you know, downpour. It's pretty quick, um, which has been good for us. What is the equivalent of 47 cents in US dollars? Like that's how cheap it is here. Hi. Hello. Hi, Masa. Okay. Oh, good in here. normal massages after that Thai massage. I'll explain more about it whenever we get back to um, the room. But hands down, the best massage of our lives. And you guys, we got a 60 hour massage for six, 60 minute massage, my bad. And you guys, we got a 60 minute massage for 550 um, Thai baht, which I believe is maybe about $10 each. I have to have to it in my phone, but it's literally like about ten dollars for an hour massage, and it was literally the best massage of my entire life. It, it was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, but what was your thoughts about the massage? It's good. It was different because of the way it was set up and like how, like it was like on like little cots on the floor versus like massage tables and all that, but it was the bomb. So we ended up coming and making a pit stop at the, I think this is like the International Foods Market area in the Central Patong Mall. And Dion's over here obsessed over his, <laughs> obsessing over his spinach. How bad is it? This spinach though, it's amazing. And then we're still waiting on my food. So we're trying this new dessert. It's the Hong Kong waffle. And it's just like a waffle cone with ice cream, bananas, and chocolate syrup. And it looks so good. Okay. Let's see how it's going. I'm like, how much did I get the, some of the waffle and everything else, but it's kind of hard. Mmm, it's really good. That waffle's the bomb. It really is good. Guys, so we are headed to go play with some elephants. You excited, Papa? No. Dion's not excited at all. He's, he's a trooper. <laughs> and I appreciate him. So we're, um, y'all, but I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at them.
It was literally the experience of a lifetime. Like, no lie. I loved every minute of it. I had to convince this one to get in there. He, I, Dion really didn't want to come, but he was a trooper. He came anyways, and he did interact with them as, for at least one activity. So I'm proud of him because he does not do, um, like, he says he doesn't do animal. <laughs> so he did do the feeding. So I'm proud of him for that. And I hugged. Yes, I and he did not Yeah. Yep, that's about it. I wasn't getting no darn. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to. Yeah, he didn't want to do the mud bath or the pool yeah, or the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was it was so much fun. Good morning, guys. It is like 6:30, 6:45 a.m. Um, and this is day four of our trip. Um, we're actually about to head out to go um, explore an island. We're going to James Bond Island today. Um, and so before I headed out, I want to show you guys a quick little glimpse of my OOTD. So it's really, really simple. I just put on this romper. And then I'm actually wearing one of the new swimsuits that I got from Boohoo that looks like this. I showed you guys this one in the haul. So here is the top and then here are the bottoms. Super simple. Um, and of course wearing the jumpsuit or the romper as a cover up. So just keeping it super simple and casual today. Um, Dion's not here. He actually ran to the gym. I'm going to meet him for breakfast real quick. We have like 10 minutes to eat. So I'm gonna grab some food and then head on out the door. <laughs> What's this called again, babe? What you say it's called? I can't remember which island it's called. We're kind of bouncing from island to island. Um, um, I don't know. I think it's Hong. Kong. Hong Island, maybe? I think that's what it is. But we're about to go canoeing know. through the lagoon back there. And y'all, this place is so gorgeous. It, isn't it beautiful? It, it is, it's like picturesque, I'm telling you. It is beautiful. Like this is like what you would see like in pictures. Boy, get out the, uh, bye. <laughs> like just look at that. I, oh, this is everything. Like this is like what you come to Thailand for. Beautiful. day of vacation um, and today is pretty much a lazy day um, we don't really have much plan for the actual day which is good because you guys have been moving non-stop we did the um, the island tour thing yesterday the day before we did the elephant sanctuary the day before that we kind of like wanted to kind of hung out so we wanted to at least have like one lazy day which is what we'll be doing today um, we do have an activity planned for tonight so we're actually going to like um, like a nighttime theme park type thing. It's not like a normal American theme park, but apparently they have like um, like a huge buffet. They have like a shopping strip. Um, you can play like games, stuff like that. And like they have like one big Thai cultural show from what I understand. Um, it's called Fantasy. We're gonna do it tonight. But again, that's tonight. So we pretty much have the whole day to just like chill out. Our sleep schedule, y'all, is so off. Dion's been up, no, we, okay, I woke up at like 3.45. Granted, I went to bed at like midnight. I woke up at like 3.45, I rolled over, Dion was up. 
he was in the bathroom on the phone because we're 12 hours ahead. So 3.45 a.m. here is 3.45 p.m. back home. So like he was in the phone calls and he was on the phone with one of his friends. And we're, our sleep touches are all off. So I stayed up from like 3.45 to like 5.45. Then like rolled over, went back to sleep for like an hour, then woke up. Dion went and worked out. He's already had breakfast. Um, it's like 9.45 now, so um, I haven't eaten yet. So I'm about to go um, grab some breakfast for me. Um, he's going to come with me and then um, play the day by ear. Um, we know that we want to get into our pool for sure today. So Dion suggested that we do like a movie in a pool situation um, after breakfast. So we may do that. Um, we also may go into town. Um, we have to exchange or get some more currency for our taxi ride back. So we may do that. May grab some food for lunch, not quite sure yet. Um, but again, kind of like just playing it all by ear. But we know for sure we want to get in our pool today since it's the last day and we want to watch a movie by the pool. But right now I'm starving. Um, I just, oh, I want to show you guys real quick. I just took some Instagram photos real quick, just like for IG, because I feel like you get the best content whenever you're traveling. Um, but I didn't want to ask Deanna to do it because he was a trooper <laughs> yesterday. So what I did is I just took, okay, so this table was over there originally. So I just moved the table, excuse the mess. I just moved the table from over here um, into right in front of the bed. And then I had my little phone tripod. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon, I believe. It was like super cheap. And I just put the tripod on the table, hooked my phone up, and then just put the phone on self timer and then shot a really cute pic on the bed. So this is like a really easy tip for those of you guys who um, either are traveling solo or who may have a partner who's not the best with photo taking. This is a really good um, option for that. Okay, and before we head out, here's a quick little uh, OTD for the day. Again, y'all, I feel like I've been so casual this trip, like, but it has been like the best <laughs> feeling to be so comfortable. So just wearing this um, tan colored cami jumpsuit. I showed it in my um, pack with me clothing haul. Um, but it was like, it was super cheap from Boohoo. And this is so comfortable. And it's just like one of those easy pieces to put on um, when you want to be like really lazy. But you want to look cute but like put in very little effort. Just got this going on. And then my tan sandals, and then my bag that I got from Target. I've been wearing this all trip. Made it out on the town, and um, Papa and I are sitting here having some lunch. We got some sweet and sour. What is it? Sweet and sour shrimp, or is that prawn? Sweet and sour prawn. No, it's just seafood. So <laughs> and uh, vegetables, and I'm basic because I just got some uh, fish and chips. Y'all, this waffle cone is so good. I had to come back and get it. All right, guys, so we are headed out tonight to go to our little activity. We're doing fantasy tonight, but I want to quickly show you guys my OOTD. So here is a two-piece um, that I'm wearing for the night. It's from Boohoo. I love it. It's super fun and perfect for vacay. Just did a really quick beat that I actually recorded um, for you guys. Here's Papo right here. Love my earrings, my Shopalier earrings. They're perfect for this look. And I'm just feeling very vacation-like, you know? <laughs> Exhibit and Dion keeps on saying that he feels like we're in Mulan. <laughs> he keeps saying that it feels like we're in Mulan. But it's so cool though. Look at it. Really nice. They have like all these different animals. And now we're going in. <laughs> Excuse me. He's not there, got Mushu. Where? Oh. So they have all these different uh, animals, but now they have two white tigers in here. Here are the two white tigers here. Those things are huge.
morning guys so it is the next day i believe i left off the vlog um last night when we were at fantasy uh, but i never actually ended off the vlog and so i wanted to come on here and kind of just give you guys like a little quick little recap of last night um clearly it's the morning time i'm like <laughs> feeling so lazy today um it's our last day we're actually leaving here um uh, it's let's see it's 7 30 now we leave here at like 9 30 um we actually went to bed at like 12 45 like 12 30 no 12 12 30 sometime around then Dion was knocked out before I was I had stayed up to like pack all my stuff up and get all my stuff organized for the morning um and then I got up around 5 45 because I had to submit um a paper or do some homework for a class because of course vacation does not stop you know homework that has to be done like you know I have to graduate y'all um so I'm still in the bed I have not actually gotten up being back there taking a shower because he got up and worked out um but we're just lazy today um anyway so back to fantasy okay so uh like i said last time i went to fantasy you guys saw that um the actual theme park itself it was cool it was a cool experience like they had like little shows you could watch before the big main show so i think i included a clip of one of like the little shows they had on the little stage outside that was really cool they had like games and stuff they had like two or three restaurants you can eat at um that you guys saw they had like the jungle exhibit like it was super cool um but the best part of it was like the actual main show i didn't know like i didn't know like what to expect or like how big of a show it would be i just knew that i wanted to go to it because i just had heard like how popular it is and like how big of a deal it is here in thailand or here in phuket and so i really 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 wanted to go and so um when we got to the theme park i was like eh. but then like watching the show y'all the show like i told dion i would totally go see it again like i would pay to go see it again i would it was to me it was like a 20 out of 10. i loved it it was so good like it was so intricate so well thought out it was literally amazing all the effects all the different acts and like they even had like tons of live animals i don't know how i don't know how they train all the animals to act that way but they had chickens uh doves they had um look like they had a horse they had like 10 different elephants what else babe oh they had ox on it was like it was insane they had like the aerial um people it was just like such an amazing show they had like cannons going off and fireworks and it was i told Dion that was for sure the best show i've ever seen and i would a hundred percent go see it again we're about to go um get ourselves together go grab some breakfast at the hotel or here at the hotel um and then head out all right guys made it to the airport oh my gosh y'all i'm like pop in he has been doing this <laughs> for the past like two hours now he swears he's from thailand at this point because he does not i've been in london he's, night. he's legit been like youtubing videos on how to speak thai well, that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to try to uh, adapt to the culture mind you y'all he's the same person so <laughs> anyways and he's the main one I never go to Mexico and I actually speak Spanish. Granted, y'all actually know a little bit of Spanish. Like, I can actually speak it, communicate it. Like, say it has simple sentences. And whenever, no, I can have simple, please. Okay. And whenever I go to Mexico, I can actually speak Spanish. You can't say this, though. He knows how to say hi. He's so sorry. He knows how to say one word. Yeah, he thinks he's from Thailand. I don't know how to say goodbye. Whatever. Anyways, so we are ending off our Thailand trip, Papa. What did you think? Did you have fun? Did you enjoy it? I mean, it's, it's really for you. Well, it's for both of us, but... It was great. I just didn't get a chance to relax. Yeah. But you know what else you can... I think it's... I think it's the international. Because even in London, we didn't relax. I think that what it is, is that whenever you travel internationally, like, like as far as we've traveled, your body... It's really hard for your body to get adjusted to the time zone. Yeah, I think it was really hard. That's what it is. But did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy it? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite part? We always do a recap of our favorite parts of the trip. What's your favorite part? Yeah, we have a picture. 
This is the final What was your favorite activity that we did? <laughs> the excursion. <laughs> what was your favorite excursion? Don't try playing. <laughs> Just call nasty vibe. <laughs> what was your favorite excursion? Like going to different islands. No, actually, yeah, it was going to different islands and eating like a different foods. Like I had this shrimp duck with it was legit. Yeah, I'd say mine was probably a type well, I have three. I have three favorite moments. So I'd say I love the elephant sanctuary for sure. I loved the island hop. No, well, I specifically loved whenever we went canoeing through the lagoon. That was my favorite part. Granted, the whole day was way too long. It was that that excursion was it was exhausting. So personally, that one was too long. But I did love the part whenever we like got to go canoeing. Which you guys saw clips of it. We got to go canoeing through the lagoon. I love that part because the scenery was just breathtaking. And then I loved the show last night. So was it was it what you expected? It was a good trip. Yeah, it was fun. So anyways, let me go ahead and end off the vlog here. We have a pretty much a full 24 hours of traveling again. So we're currently at the Phuket Airport, and then we'll fly from Phuket to Bangkok, Bangkok to. Ta Taipei, I think that's how I pronounce it, to Taiwan. And then from Taiwan, it's a 14 hour flight back to Houston. So, all right guys, we're gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.